fired everyone. The network news is on. Futurama and Adventure Time might seem like two completely different shows with completely different things going on, right? That's right. Well, what if I told you they weren't? I don't know. Well, what if I told you they were connected in ways you never understood before? Let's look into it now. Surface similarities. Futurama and Adventure Time actually follow a very similar premise. They both take place a thousand years in the future. Yeah! In the Adventure Time timeline, a mushroom war led to a post-apocalyptic fallout across the land. Meanwhile, in Futurama, civilization was destroyed by aliens and rebuilt several times over, leading to some kind of tech, utopian, dystopian outcome. Philip J. Fry gets frozen in a cryotube for that thousand years, and he wakes up to see the strange new world. Yahoo! Meanwhile, in Adventure Time, Patient St. Pym froze herself for roughly a thousand years, and she emerged to her strange new reality too. Dudes! What year is this? Uh... Nobody really keeps time like that. Both shows are in a way predicting what the future of civilization could become. From Futurama, where there's aliens everywhere, to Adventure Time, where there's mutants and strange, grotesque animals. And most exciting for me, both shows establish an active multiverse. multiverse. Yeah, we're gonna circle back to that. Dog and Robot. Jake the Dog and Bender Bending Rodriguez are two characters voiced by the same voice actor. But outside of that, they're completely different characters, right? I don't know. I mean, Jake the Dog is a magical talking dog, and he's also a family man. When Bender the Robot is a literal bending unit robot. And he's also a dangerous criminal mastermind. <laughs> But wait a minute, because Jake the dog is also a dangerous criminal mastermind. And Bender sometimes is also a family man, to some extent, kind of. But to be fair, Jake also isn't a full-time family man. In fact, with the way his children got raised, Jake was barely there for his kids at all. <laughs> Woo! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah! We're real late. Happy birthday, puppies! Okay, so putting it out there, I didn't remember to bring you guys any birthday presents. Instead, Jake spent almost all of his time babysitting this little kid. And what has Ben to spend all of his time doing? Babysitting that big kid. No, I'm doesn't. So obviously, we can compare some things between the two. They both love music. They both love cooking. And we haven't even considered their powers yet. Jake can use his imagination to stretch to whatever shape he wants and do all sorts of stretchy, crazy nonsense. Bender's a bit stretchy too, but he's limited by the real life being a robot, right? Well, not really, because what exactly is Bender made out of? Your standard bending unit is made of an iron osmium alloy. But Bender was different. Bender had a 0.04% nickel impurity. It's what made me, me. My body's 40% titanium. I'm 40% zinc. I'm 30% iron. I'm 40% dolomite. I'm 40% what? This thing is 40% chromium. I'm 40% empty. I'm 60% storage space. I'm 40% scrap metal. I'm 40% lucky. The scrap metal I made from included a truckload of horseshoes from the luckiest racehorses in Mexico. Bender seems to be able to be composited of all sorts of things. And on top of all of that, Bender could be a popcorn maker, a cocktail shaker, a fermentation chamber. He could be an oven, a safe, a barbecue. He could be a beer dispenser, a humidifier, an airbag deployer. He could be a dark room. And he could be basically anything else he could imagine himself to be. He once hacked himself inside out and his processor became all of reality. reality. <laughs> I amuse myself. So, on some scale, Bender and Jake are maybe on cosmic par with each other. The Princess. So in this story, who could be the princess other than... Leela! Wait, you're making a... Oh, look at that! I feel like a princess! Sure, why not? Leela can be the princess this time, finally. Besides, she earned it considering she's the one that unveiled the whole mystery. 
in the episode, Leela and the Gene Stalk. Leela is having some problems with her mutant biology, and she seeks out the aid of Mum, up a magical beanstalk in a cloud in the sky. And up there we see a cameo that cannot be ignored. What time is it? Time for you to shut up! Yeah, it's dungeon time. Trapped in Mum's dungeon was Finn and Jake of this reality all, all along. along. It takes more than that to surprise me, Bender. Going back to the multiverse with Booko, we know that there's an established multiverse, parallel worlds all running in the same similar timeline. And here we are, with Finn and Jake in the dungeon, in the Futurama timeline, connecting Futurama to Adventure Time in a way that is very difficult to ignore. And if that wasn't enough for you to consider the two shows as connected, then we need to go back to the episode, Everything's Jake because Jake himself shrinks inside little Jake town, talks to all the J-peeps, and all of the J-peeps are given future armor voices. Oh, Jake, 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 you big goof. How long has it been? Two, three years? Let's see, yeah, uh, one, two, uh, <laughs> I've never been here. <laughs> I've never been here. You still got it, Jake. Mr. Meyer? Urchin, thank you for your help. Help yourself to the herring kicks. right oh. Mention a food item. Omelette. What's in the omelette? A chili. It's a four-egg chili omelette. Analysis, Tim. You're just a fringe scientist, well known to have a crackpot of crazy theories. Hmm. Perhaps I am. And maybe I am wrong. But are you really willing to take that chance? Somehow Jake's in a consciousness, in a magic, maybe it was that syringe that Magic Man gave him, we don't know. But for whatever reason, everyone in J-Town is a voice from Futurama. So, that puts me in a position to think that the two shows are, in fact, connected. Running parallel timelines, parallel stories, parallel realities, but in some regard, always connected. So in conclusion, these two guys are actually just multiverse variants of the same character. Very much like all the Lokis in the Loki show about Loki. So make sure you tune in for the new season of Loki and the new season of Futurama and the new Adventure Time in the Fiona and Cake show where we will finally see the end of Simon's story. And now I want to give a huge shout out for the thumbnail because looking at Bonabelle Bubblegum dressed up as Taronga Leela might just be the best thing I've ever seen. Huge thanks to Internet Boy on Instagram. And that's with a three and a zero in it, yeah. Now make sure you subscribe and all of that stuff because the next theory is gonna be about the Rainicorn Dog War. Stay tuned. Hey, I don't tell you how to tell me what to do, so don't tell me how to do what you tell me to do.